Tonight, more calls for an investigation into how Maryland public schools are funded with hundreds of millions of your taxpayer dollars. Earlier this year, Project Baltimore's Chris Papps exposed how Augusta Fells received money to educate students who weren't attending the school. Now, as Chris Papps reports, the problem appears to be statewide. $15,148. That is how much money, on average, Maryland Public Schools received in 2019 for every student enrolled. It's a combination of local, state, and federal dollars. According to the U.S. Census, it's the 14th most in America. According to state delegate and former Baltimore City teacher Kathy Schlega, it's an incentive. The incentive and the funding is measured by enrollment, yet we aren't incentivizing kids coming to school and actually learning. In Maryland, a school's enrollment is based on the number of students enrolled on paper on September 30th. All $15,148 are delivered to the school based solely off that September 30th number. But a Project Baltimore investigation found millions of those dollars are being sent to educate students who are missing. Every year, the Maryland State Department of Education releases massive amounts of data on every school in the state, including reports on students who are unenrolled. 2019 is the most recent year for data. That year, 9,822 students left school for a variety of reasons, including illness and employment. But the largest category was 6,126 students is whereabouts unknown. More than 6,000 students went missing. At $15,000 each, Maryland schools received more than $92 million in just one year to educate students that according to the state cannot be found. I am really concerned about these more than 6,000 children in the state of Maryland who are lost in the school system. Where have these kids gone? Why is the school system getting paid for a student that they don't know where they are and their attendance obviously is zero? The Maryland State Department of Education declined an interview to discuss the funding of missing students, but told Project Baltimore over the phone that school districts create yearly budgets based on their September 30th enrollment. If a student goes missing after September 30th, the school still gets the money for that student, according to the education department, because the money was budgeted. Project Baltimore in April first reported on enrollment issues at one school, Augusta Fell Savage in West Baltimore. We had obtained a list of 21 students enrolled, but not attending. In September, city schools released the damning results from its internal investigation that found in 2019, the school had 100 students with questionable status who may not have been attending the school. In 2020, Fox 45 News found just in the first half of the year, another 40 students were labeled whereabouts unknown. Yet, all 140 were funded by taxpayers. The Fox 45 Project Baltimore reporting has really brought to our attention the fact that I believe the Maryland State Department of Education needs to give a full and thorough review of these student numbers. These are real kids. City schools declined an interview, but told Fox 45 News in a statement, it does attempt to find students with phone calls and home visits. If those attempts fail and the student did not enroll in another school, they are labeled whereabouts unknown. Schlega said the September 30th date creates an incentive that encourages fraud. Schools like Augusta Fells can pad enrollment, secure extra funding, and later unenroll students if necessary by labeling them whereabouts unknown, with few to no questions coming from the state. The whole system seems to be based on the wrong metrics. We need to base funding on, of students on them getting to school and those students getting educated, 
not just the fact that they were potentially enrolled and showed up one time in September. Schlega went on to say she favors a system that would base funding on two days out of the year, September 30th and a day later in the year, where half the funding would be delivered on each day. She says that would give a more accurate amount of money to schools based off their enrollment, while lessening the chances of a school like Augusta Fells being able to pad enrollment. I'm Chris Pabst, and this is Project Baltimore.